Mr. Johnson, do you have any comment for the residents of Sky Two? It wouldn't be appropriate at this time. Thank you, though. Former Sky Took Superintendent Dr. Gary Johnson and former businessman Rick Enos have a matter of weeks to prove to a judge that they can repay $570,000 in damages to the school district or they could face prison time. An audit shows that over a four year period during Johnson's direction, the district bought more than $800,000 in janitorial supplies and security equipment from businesses owned by Enos. The audit shows many of the items were sold to the district at a 400 to 800 percent price markup. If I can put them in a position where they're paying back the actual victims that they cheated, the students and the taxpayers of Sky took, to me, that's ultimate justice. DA Tim Harris says his goal is to make the district financially whole. But he says if Johnson and Enos can't prove to a judge that they have the resources to do that, prison is the only option. And if restitution can't be paid, then I'm not taking it into consideration regarding your sentencing. Well, if restitution can't be paid, then people are going to the penitentiary. Sky took resident Linda Loftus served on the school board following the bribery scandal. She too hopes the defendants will be able to repay the district. Because I know the time spent in prison will never pay back our children and our taxpayers. And I think it's important that we get this taken care of. And May 2nd, I can't wait to be back.